Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to today's video. So I've been into B&M, picked up some goodies for Christmas. I've topped up on my cleaning supplies. So I thought, let's sit down and film a B&M haul. So if you want to see what I picked up in B&M, please keep watching. Okay, so just before we jump into the haul, I've actually, if you can see, it's all laid out on the bed. So I've sorted everything into categories, um, just to see if that makes it a little bit easier to film and that way, it's just, if you're watching, it just makes more sense. Um, so let me know if you prefer that going forward for future hauls. But don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you're not already. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You can just hover over my name in the bottom left hand corner. If you hover over, if you're not already subscribed, it will just bring up the red subscribe button. So you can just do it really quickly that way. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with cleaning products and then we'll move on to the bits and pieces that I've got the kids for Christmas. So if you can hear the rain, it's so heavy right now and I can just hear it like hitting against the um, big looks windows. So it is quite like nice and soothing, but just if that's what you can hear, it is raining so heavy. Um, okay, what shall we start with? I feel like I've got a lot. Um, first up, I picked up three of the um, interior dehumidifiers. <laughs> Tongue twister. Um, I just got them, they were on special buy for a pound in blush peony. So I've just got these to go in each of the kids' um, bedroom windows just to tuck down in the corner. Um, I'm just hoping it helps with like the condensation. We do need new windows um, like downstairs, so obviously that's on the list to do, but it's not gonna be done this winter. So I thought I'll see if that helps. Um, and they were only a pound. Okay, next up I picked up another one of um, the pink stuff oxy powder stain remover just to pop in with the um washing they do do one for white washing as well so like your white load um but i actually just use this on all of it and i really really rate it um yeah works miracle so highly recommend that if you haven't tried it already and then dun, 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 dun. how amazing is this scent i'm so glad um that it's been brought back i just love it so much um, so Lenore Frosted Rose Wonderland. Uh, there's nothing more I need to say about it. It just smells amazing. I've washed my bedding in it and it's just, every time I get in it, it just lasts so well. And then to go with that, I've obviously had to get the um, Incense Boosters. So they do the bigger version of these. So originally I picked up the like smaller cardboard packaging, um, but this bigger one was $7.99 and you got like triple the amount. So I feel like it was better value for money. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be my, I did love Frosted Eucalyptus, but this was my favorite. So super happy it's back. And then I also picked up a spray version of the Oxy Stain Remover. This is brilliant actually. When I couldn't get my hands on this, I tried um, the Astonish version, but this, if you can get your hands on this one, this one works wonders. So yeah, really, really good. Highly recommend this one for like spot treating stains. And then I've actually picked up another thing to do my washing up. So, reasoning behind this, I've bought a few dishmatics recently, um, and probably over like the last, I would say the last year, and the heads just do not stay on, they come off. So it's like the heads are too wide for the actual um, wand. And then I've bought the scrub daddy one i do love that one don't get me wrong that one is amazing but it's just a bit too big to wash the bottles and majority of our glasses unless it's like a pint glass it's too big to get in there it's amazing for like bathroom cleaning um like the windows that sort of thing so i have kept it for that and obviously more stubborn things like trays pans that sort of thing amazing but i spotted this one so this is it's basically a dishmatic but it's made by elbow grease so it's called elbow grease dish brush um and i people probably thought i was weird but i was in b and taking the top off and let me tell you this is a struggle to get this off so i'm hoping we're not going to have the same issue as what i'm having with my dishmatic so i'm excited to switch this over and get rid of the dishmatic and i also bought some of the refill so a pack of three 
white vinegar i've been really struggling to find this i don't know what's happened it's taken me ages um to find it they've literally had it nowhere so um i saw it and it's actually a bigger bottle it's 850 ml one um so yeah love that perfect for cleaning my drains and i actually have been putting this in the washing machine like once every two weeks or so to give it a more like deeper clean cannot go wrong with a bit of white vinegar and then this is new i've not seen this before so i wanted to get some of the 1001 is it the carpet spray that i'm sure we were all obsessed with um because obviously i've got some more like autumnal festive scents out but i actually saw this sephora one so this was five pound or 5.99 i haven't got the receipt on me so apologies i don't have the exact costings but this was at least three times the size of the 1001 one um and it's obviously sephora and it's in the scent midnight blooms which if you've not watched any of my other videos that is my favorite sephora scent i love it um so i thought i would give this a go so it's obviously to fresh and care like carpet clean so it's antibacterial um it's suitable for pets um it says on the sticker so obviously i know some of them you have to be very very careful especially if you've got pets children that sort of thing so this one seems really really good so it says it eliminates odors deep clean action you don't need to vacuum it it will give you fragrance all day um it leaves the carpets feeling soft suitable for homes with pets so you can obviously use it on like carpets stairs rugs sofas um any kind of like upholstery really so you shake the can well press spray button firmly to break the seal on the first you spray evenly approximately 50 centimeters from the carpet and then work in with a cloth sponge paying attention to a particular stained area so yeah i'm excited to give that a go if you've tried this let me know um how you find it but yeah i'm excited especially for the rug in the front room so obviously we're always all in there and then that's it cleaning wise so next up i just grabbed a bubble bath i really really like this one it smells so lovely um quite fresh smelling um so i not quite ready to give into like the festive bubble baths yet so i saw this one had to grab it and then there's just a few little like sweet treats so let's just do those now and then we'll move into the presents so i picked up this hot chocolate set for darcy so it's the galaxy one um and you actually get two sachets with the marshmallows in there she loves hot chocolate so i thought she would really like that and then i picked up a couple of the galaxy ripple packs these were on offer for a pound which is really good value um because they're 165 in the majority of other places so i got two packets of those and then my all-time favorite the quality street strawberry creams i feel like these you either love them or you hate them so like tom hates them actually all of tom's family will save them for me because nobody likes them so strawberry and orange creams are my favorite but i don't think well i've never seen them if they do but i don't think they do a separate orange cream one they need to if they, they need to if they don't um so yeah i did pick up two bags of these but there's a bag already open which i may or may not have been dipping into um tom said those are for christmas m because we always get like quality streets and it's like a traditional thing that we're not allowed to open them until christmas but um i was like no way i have to have some of those so i will be getting some more of these but if you love the strawberry creams they've now got them in b and m i think these were three pound fifty okay so we're moving on to the goodies that i've got for christmas so just first up i grabbed three rolls of the wrapping paper i've only got two here because penny thinks one of them is like a wand or a sword so she's taking it downstairs um so yeah three of the same this is one pound fifty for eight meters i'm just gonna hold it a bit closer so you can see so it's like a really lovely like pastel pink and it's got nutcrackers mistletoe candy canes christmas trees um yeah just really cute a little gold stars on there i'm trying to see if it'll pick not my head up there you go you see how cute that is uh where's the tree there you go so i got three of those so that will probably be for darcy's present so what i like to do is wrap each of the kids up in like a separate wrapping paper um so yeah, I just obviously need to get some for Ollie and Penny. Um, speaking of Penny, I've picked her up a couple of, if I do hers first of all, that'll just make it a bit easier. So a couple, this is for her stocking. So it's the Peppa's Christmas Wish Book. She loves the Peppa books. I mostly do get them in um, B&M or Home Bargains because they're 
very very reasonable in there the back says 5.99 but i'm pretty sure this was one pound 50. um they're not very long either they're very easy to read it's not like too long where she's like completely distracted halfway through so i thought i'd get her that because it's christmas themed and then she loves her coloring loves her doodling so i didn't want to get her felts or anything like that and i think um she doesn't mind pencil crayons, but I just thought actual crayons might be very good for her. So I saw this pack of 24, so I thought I would pop those in her stocking. And I'm planning on getting her like a colouring book, book, but like a My First Colouring Book where the images and the lines are quite thick. Um, I also picked her up this Sensory Play Rainbow Cascade um, pack of two kind of like tubes. So if I just show you you hold it like that and obviously it just like rainbow falls down um so one's like a blue and a red with some purple and then one is green blue with little flecks of yellow so i'm sure she'll absolutely love this um this one was five pounds that's the price there um they had actually a really big section of safe sensory toys which she really really loves um actually she also every time we go in now i've put off buying this because it was eight pounds um but this sensory ball she absolutely loves it i'll turn it on i'm hoping not it's a bit temperamental whether it wants to turn off but she sits in the trolley and look how like it's very strong can you see like and if you can imagine she's this in the trolley with it um oh it's not going to turn off now guys Oh, we're gonna have to let it play oh it's done yeah so i've been putting off buying this because every time i go in there she's obsessed with it so this time i thought i will just pick it up now and i can obviously pop this in her stocking um but yeah they had so many different sensory toys so highly recommend that they had things for the bath as well um like little flashing ducks um they had um the led like flat what do you call it it's um it's like a flat disc that sits in the bath and then the water sprays out of the top. That was £5. So yeah, really good section um, for sensory in B&M. And then a few bits for Darcy. So I picked her up this um, two-in-one selfie stick. It was £10. So I bought her one off of Amazon last year, which I do use as well. But it is quite bulky. So it will fold down. But when it's folded down, it's still about this big and the ring light doesn't collapse or anything so you've got this big ring light on it this one i thought would be a little bit better because it has got a light on it um but it folds down into like a carry stick so like a little bit a little bit like my vlogging tripod but obviously it can extend as well um so i just thought that she would really really like that and obviously it's for um so many different phones it's got a um like the holder will go out on a spring so so many phones fit in it it does give you a list of them and you can either have it vertical or horizontal and obviously the light will go either way as well so yeah i thought that was a really good buy for 10 pounds and then i also picked up a couple of candles i feel like i'm candle obsessed at the moment i got a few when i went into primark as well um but i got two of the um candles that they've got in there they're different actually so let me show you this one first of all so they were four pounds each one this one is the good karma which is vanilla and silver birch scented so it looks like that is so the packaging is really really lovely i feel like it looks really high end um i'll just slide the top off so i can show you the candle um so obviously the candle comes out of the packaging i can't take it out because i don't want to lose the um little crystals in the top but obviously you melt it down and then you've got these crystals as well that one smells lovely so i actually bought this one for myself to burn in my bedroom so i'm what i'm tending to do now once i've had like my bath shower on an evening is i'll come and just wind down in bed before actually going to sleep so i want to like start lighting a candle reading my manifest book things like that a bit of self-care on an evening so i thought that would be ideal this one i'm going to give to darcy so this is the self-love sweet pink pepper pods i haven't actually smelt it i bought it because it was pink and i didn't i thought this one would be a little bit more appropriate for her oh it's got two stickies are you gonna undo please undo i want to smell you okay so yeah that is what um the packaging looks like for this one obviously it's very similar it's just obviously a different color Oh, this one smells this one smells lovely actually 
this one smells a lot better than the karma one that i've got myself so i highly recommend this one and this is like the perfect thing she loves um candles so i know she'll absolutely love that and then what else have we got so i've also picked up the quartz wireless charger i got it in this kind of like teal color this was eight pounds so i thought this would look lovely on her bedside table she's got just a flat dish that sits a little bit like this a plate sorry not a dish and she uses this as like a um like a little coaster sort of thing just to pop on her dressing table or a desk when she's working so i thought this would be lovely to charge her phone um and yeah it's wireless so it's like super easy for her and then i also picked up this key ring i've got two actually so i've got one for me <laughs> i've been picking up little presents for tom to give me so i've got one in the um month of january so it's a birth flower key ring and one in may so obviously the may one is for darcy looks like this they were at three pounds each and then the January one is lovely, if I show you. Like, how cute is that? I love that so much. And then last up, another key ring for her. So this is just her um, star sign, so Gemini, £2.50. They've got so many really cute bits and pieces in like this. Um, so again, highly recommend. And they've got like all of the aisles set out ready for Christmas. I love being in so much. Um, so yeah, that is all of the Christmas goodies that I've got. Okay, so that is going to wrap up my B&M haul. I really hope you enjoyed. Like I said at the start, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And if you're not already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps support my channel and I really, really appreciate it. And without further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone. Here's to the good days. To the sorrows, if this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more.